I, come, I came back home in 2005 from uh, Canton, Ohio, uh, which is where I was kind of introduced in the music scene. And uh, kind of like there, Canton, Ohio, they're just known for the Football Hall of Fame. But uh, it's a small little town, but if you ever visit there, man, I think every rapper there is like a Jay-Z status, like with their ability. So when I came back home in 2000, and when I say home, back here in Little Rock, I discovered that we had that same talent. The people, they're starting to, they're starting to come together. It's a light starting to get, it's a light starting to shine on Arkansas, for one, you know. As we keep doing it, it get better and better. We really have a variety of sound. Uh, our original sounds that we come up with aren't ne necessarily things that you've heard. I guess we got to disbelieve people that we actually do have, you know what I'm saying, good music here. And I think underlining the Arkansas don't come together, it actually is a little bit of unity here. And I think that uh, that's overlooked. You know, it's abundance of talents here in Little Rock. Every corner, every street you go on, every neighborhood, you always want to be innovative. And that's every, that's most of the artists that uh, I speak with, they always want to be innovative. They always want to come up with the next sound. And that's the thing right now is that we all have these conversations. When I left in 94, we didn't have a lot of guys rapping that I knew of. When I got back in 2005, you see where we are now. The uh, these big media outlets starting to look at us more, for like say cheese, uh, real real life hood stars and stuff like that. They they really starting to put their eye on us now. They create the culture here, you know. So I believe that's the greatest contribution we have to the industry is just the talent and the artists themselves. Uh, definitely independence. Uh, indie music is a a big thing now. People uh, having access to the software and the hardware and, and with the new technologies, you got DistroKid and all these other platforms where you can get your own distribution and, uh, and all that good stuff and register yourself, BMI, all that. So uh, it, it's not about getting record deals anymore as much as it is about being your own man and investing in yourself. Investing in branding. Everyone feels that someone's gonna come along and do these things for them. Well, the thing is, what, what, what people like about it is, like A&Rs, uh, or, or someone that just looks at you. They're looking at you for what you have already. They don't, they, they're trying to spend as least amount of money on you to, you know, like, like that or whatever, for you to become successful and, and on your journey. But you have artists out here that are just lazy. They don't want to invest in themselves. They want they want the deal. You know, they want they want a deal or whatever like that. Uh, as far as on beats or on studio time or on videos, but people don't understand that these things take time, out of uh, videographers' time, out of producers' time, you know, and out of engineers' time, you know. And I feel like they don't like investing in themselves. But once you leave them with an ultimatum, they'll eventually have to. I call it the crab in the bucket effect. You got everybody on every corner in every neighborhood rapping, and everybody want to do their own thing, and nobody wants to support, you know. Nobody wants to support each other. Yeah, we ain't got no unity. It's hard for people to come together because everybody want to be the man in front, you know, so it's hard for people just to be a team. Ain't no team in Arkansas. Either, either you grew up with each other, that's how they keeping it, or it ain't nothing, it ain't no team, basically. It's too many Chiefs and not enough Indians. To, that's, that's with me and from what I've seen. Everyone has all the answers, and no one is really willing to put in the footwork to uh, um, build the foundation as far as us as a scene. Everyone has the answers, and I feel like it shouldn't be that way. I feel like everyone has their own perspective on how uh, we should move or this, this, or that. But uh, to me, it's just too many chiefs, not enough Indians. And that uh, kind of crowds uh, uh, the, the focus and the direction you want to go as a unit, because that's how we're going to have to come as a unit. So we have too many different you know, perspectives. You know. A complete lack of unity and a lot of hatred. If, if we can kind of take that Atlanta blueprint where they all 
feed off of each other and support each other, man, we can go a long way. We, we have the talent. Uh, we got a lot of smart kids out here doing a lot of good, but uh, just the, the lack of numbers, the strength in numbers, and we just don't have the numbers together right now. It's not really getting paid attention to like it is. I say that now, but it seems like it's starting to, you know, starting to turn heads, you know, and I just feel like, you know, for a while now it's been kind of like we've been overlooked. If we had the artists come together and start supporting, th supporting each other with more intensity, uh, it'll help the rap scene out a whole lot, I feel.